Good afternoon and welcome to the Great Plains ACAC Virtual College Fair. We're so excited that you're here with us today to find out about some great colleges from around the country. Remember, during these virtual sessions, your camera and microphone is off. So the best way to communicate with us would be the Q&A button that you have below on your screen. So make sure as you learn about different colleges and you may want to know or have to see questions about certain things, please use that Q&A button on your screen as well. Also, don't forget, there'll be other sessions happening as well. So please sign up for those and find out more about some great colleges colleges around the country. And this particular session will be recorded as well. So if you do want to find out more information and do more research at all, this recording will be available for you at strivescan.com slash GPACAC. All right, so that's enough for me. I want to go to our first school now, which is Oklahoma City University. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Monica Brown. I am the coordinator of undergraduate admissions at Oklahoma City University, and I'm super excited to get to speak with you this afternoon. Just to give you a broad overview of the university, we are we are a small private liberal arts university in the heart of Oklahoma City. We have about 3,000 students in total, about 1,600 being undergraduate students and about 1,400 being our graduate students as well. Our average class size is about 17 students. So you're really getting an individualized educational experience at Oklahoma City University. And we bring in students from around 42 different states, 46 different international countries. And we have over 80 student organizations on campus for you all to get involved in. And we're known as Oklahoma City's University. We're, we are Oklahoma City's University. We're very much ingrained in what the city has to offer. So if you're looking for a larger a larger town, but a small school experience, we are a great opportunity and a great school for you all to come and check out. We do offer 22 varsity sports and are in the NAIA division of athletics. We have the most national championships out of any NAIA conference school. If you all are interested in competing on a collegiate level, please connect with us um, at the end of the session or at any point in time throughout your college search process. We'd love to have you on campus, talk with our different coaches, practice with the teams, and really get a feel for what it's like to be a star. In terms of our academic colleges, we have six different academic colleges on campus. The first being the Ann Lacey School of American Dance and Entertainment. They're consistently ranked in the top 10 in the nation, as well as we are the school that has produced the most Radio City Rackets. We offer the Kramer School of Nursing, which is a direct admit BSN nursing program, and they offer all the way up to a PhD in nursing. We have a state of the art nursing simulation lab. And so those robots, they bleed, they give birth, their eyes light up, they scream, they cry. So really great hands-on learning opportunities for you all. The Minder School of Business is ranked within the top 4.5% of business schools in the nation with their AACSB accreditation, um, as well as have a 92% job placement and grad school placement rate. The Petrie College of Arts and Sciences is our largest academic college on campus. Um, we have majors in the STEM, humanities, and visual arts categories. Two of our newest major programs on campus are game design and animation. If you have any interest in doing animation for Pixar or Disney, video game level design, we have a full motion capture lab so you all can put on the dot suit, render your characters, and really get a feel for what a game design or a game designer does, as well as our esports management degree. If you all are interested in learning how to shoutcast, run esports tournaments, or do merchandising, that's a great program for you. The School of Theater um, puts on the most undergraduate theatrical performances out of any school in the nation. So if you're looking at being on stage or behind the scenes, it's a great opportunity for you all to come and study here. And our last school is the Wanda L. Bath School of Music. They are also a top tier music program and put on over 250 stage performances every single year. Two of our most famous alumni, Christian Chenoweth and Kelly O'Hara, are two music grads. And Christian Chenoweth is an artist in residence um, at Oklahoma City University. Talking about our residence halls, we have four different residence halls on campus, two first year dorms and two upperclassmen dorms. Um, we have no communal bathrooms across any of our dorms on campus. Laundry is included in any of the dorms that you stay in and they are included in your fees. So no payment is needed there. We have guaranteed parking for all students that zone for your dorm and Wi-Fi and cable are included in every room on campus. Talking about our application process briefly, we are a truly holistic reviewed school. So we look at 
your essay, your class rigor, your GPA, what you've been involved in in high school, your recommendation letters as well. Um, we have a couple different forms of the application are university specific on our website and the Common App. Use whatever application is easiest for your process. We'll need your high school counselor's recommendation and your transcript. Again, truly test optional. So SAT and ACT scores are no longer required for the admissions process or for scholarships on campus. And then your resume and your additional letter of recommendation are not required for the application process, but are required for our competitive scholarship process on campus. Speaking of scholarships, we offer automatic scholarships based on a student's cumulative high school GPA, again, no longer based on test score and GPA on campus. For my students in the Petrie College of Arts and Sciences, the Minder School of Business and the Kramer School of Nursing, this is your automatic scholarship for all four years on campus awarded at the time of your academic acceptance. For students in our performing arts schools, the Ann Lacey School of American Dance and Entertainment, the Wanda L. Bass School of Music, and the School of Theater, these are your automatic scholarships based on your cumulative high school GPA guaranteed for all four years on campus. We also offer talent scholarships for our students in the School of Dance and Entertainment, Music and Theater that stack on top of your academic scholarship that we offer. And these talent scholarships are based on your audition, interview, or portfolio review into your program of choice. And then we do offer a wide range of competitive scholarships that are available. Your application for admission is your application for all scholarships on campus. Um, so these range from an extra thousand dollars a year all the way up to full tuition and room and board for all four years. Um, so if you have more specific questions, all of the specifications for these scholarships are listed on our website. And that's it for me today. If you all have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to any of my contact information. We are open for campus visits Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. and 2 p.m., as well as we have a lot of different virtual events happening for you all as well. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll be around to answer any questions in the chat. All right, thank you so much, Oklahoma City University. Next, we're going to have Arizona State University. All right, give me just one second to get it set up here. Do do do. All right, so hi everyone. My name is Kyle. I am with Arizona State University. Uh, I'm actually our Texas Regional Coordinator for North Texas. So I work with part of Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Kansas as well. Um, so a little bit about ASU, um, I think what's really important for you to know is some of the very basics about the university. Um, so we are located in Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix is the fifth largest city in the United States. Um, we are the only public research institution located in Phoenix. So we are really kind of um, the, the pipeline for a lot of talent and, and jobs in the greater Phoenix area. Um, something really unique about us though, is that we are one university in many places. So um, while we have campuses really kind of all over the world, um, we do have four campuses in the Phoenix metro area. Um, students are assigned to a campus based on their major. So depending on the major that you select when you apply for admission, we'll determine that the campus that you are assigned to. Um, some majors are offered at multiple campuses. Some majors are only offered at um, one specific campus for you know, various reasons. Um, each campus has its own, own kind of different feel and flavor. And so you can really kind of customize your experience at ASU. As far as Phoenix goes, if you've never been to um, Phoenix, or Arizona in general. Um, the desert is kind of a different place than maybe what you're used to, um, but I think it's gorgeous from like October to April. It's 75 degrees. You can go outside in a t-shirt and a shorts on like Christmas and hang out outside. Um, it's something that's very unique to Arizona. And that's why a lot of students do come to us from really all over the US, but especially from the Northern states, um, getting away from that snow, enjoying the Valley of the Sun, um, and then all the natural wildlife that we have close by. Um, so a little bit about each campus. So we have our downtown Phoenix campus located in the heart of downtown Phoenix. Students uh, here are typically a student studying a major that's um, considered um, a public purpose. So we have criminal justice, public administration, journalism, and nursing, just to name a few. Um, that's a medium-sized campus with about 11,000 students. Um, we have our polytechnic campus in the East Valley and Mesa. Um, we have about five, actually, I think that number has grown since last year to about closer to 6,000 now. Um, it's a smaller campus, but that's where a lot of our applied programs are, like air traffic management, uh, professional flight, um, graphic information technology, just to name a few there. Next, we have our Tempe campus. Tempe campus is typically what people think about when they think of ASU. They think of that big state school experience, athletics, school spirit, all that. I um, mean, it's great. A um, lot of majors offered there from engineering to business, um, to just name a few. Um, but that's where if you want that big college state school experience, Tempe is probably the one that you're looking for. Um, and then last but not least, we have our West Campus located in the West Valley near Glendale. Um, that's our small liberal arts approach to learning. They have a little over 4,000 students, very small class sizes. Um, their culture is very much like, let's get to know each other. Let's um, know your classmates, know your professors. And so you get to have that small liberal arts experience, but at, 
at ASU where you have all the resources of a, of a world-class university that's been ranked um, number one in innovation for seven years in a row now. Um, so that's kind of it for the campuses. We do have over 350 different degree programs. Um, like I said, you would be assigned to a campus based on the major you, that you select. Um, some programs like minors are offered only at certain campuses. So you're never expected to go to the other campuses. If you're a journalism major, major at the downtown Phoenix campus, you don't have to go to the other campuses. But if you want to, you can. There is an in-campus shuttle system. We do have a lot of students choo that choose to have a multi-campus experience, but again, not expected. Um, and I think it is something that's kind of rich about our, um, the, our community and the way we're set up. Um, like I said, 350 different degree programs. Um, for the most part, um, our degrees will be direct entry. We do have a few that will be exceptions to us that do have higher admissions requirements. So that's going to include our uh, Bachelor of Science business degrees, um, journalism, nursing, and engineering all have slightly higher admissions requirements than that of the general university. As far as things to do on campus, um, we have over a thousand uh, different student organizations, so there's really something for everyone to get involved in. Um, we also use a residential model called Child of Living. So what that means is that you are going to live with students from the same academic college as you your freshman year. Um, we do expect first year students to live on campus, so a majority of our first year students do live on campus. Um, and so that's a really great experience, especially at our Tempe campus where we have larger dorms. Um, so if you're an engineering major, you're going to be at Tooker House most likely. If you're going to be in business, you'll probably be at Hacienda Academic Village. So they kind of have their unique identities and really it's to translate that academic experience outside the classroom as well. You'll see these same people in your classes. Um, you'll have access to some academic support resources from the colleges. Um, and then I think, you know, there's a natural kind of learning that happens um, with people. Um, you know, if you're struggling in a class, but your roommate is doing well, really well in it, um, you have a tutor right there. Um, so we really think that it's successful and it's why we have such a, a high first year retention rate from first year to second year, it's about 92%. As far as applying to ASU, this is what always kind of trips people up is that we are very straightforward with our admissions process. We use assured admissions. So we're really looking for two big things. We wanna see that you have 16 classes that you completed in high school, all listed here. If you have all 16 of those core competencies, we're then gonna to look to see that you have one aptitude requirement. So we wanna see that either you have an 1180 on the SAT or 24 on the ACT or a 3.0 core GPA, which is actually gonna be based just off these 16 classes you see here on an unweighted 4.0 scale, or we wanna see a class ranking in the top 25% of your class. So if you have um, those 16 classes and then one of these um, requirements, guess what, you're in, you're good to go. We don't accept essays, we don't accept letter of recommendations, and we don't accept resumes, we just wanna see um, your, your academic record. And if you meet that, it's, it's very straightforward, very easy. Um, in that sense. We do accept the Common App, the Coalition App, and um, the uh, application on our website, or the ASU app. So you can apply however you want to, it does not matter. Um, whatever works best for you, you just go ahead and do that. Um, typically our application will open up in July with Common App and Coalition op app opening up in usually in August. Now we are test optional for admissions and scholarship purposes. Um, this is a little outdated. It says fall 2021, but it is the same for fall 2022 as well. Um, so you do not have to submit test scores to be considered for one of our merit-based scholarships. Um, these are scholarships that we automatically evaluate students for based on um, their academic record when they apply to ASU. If you just want to send in, you know, grades, that's fine. I do recommend, however, if you have test scores, go ahead and submit them because they can only help you, not hurt you. Um, so if GPA alone is better, we use that. If GPA and test scores are better, we'll use that. And we have a really handy tool online. If you go to scholarships.asu.edu, you can find our estimator where you can get an idea of the scholarship that you may qualify for. Um, and then last but not least, um, if you want to come visit campus, we do have a mix of um, on-campus and virtual opportunities for you to learn more. Um, you can just go to visit.asu.edu. And then this is my contact info. If you have any questions, like I said, I am the representative for Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Kansas. So please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Arizona State. State, thank you so much. Next, we're going to have Webster University. Hey, everybody. Andrew Lowy, Associate Director of Admissions here at Webster University. I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of uh, kind of uh, what we're all about and, and give you some information so we hopefully help you in this uh, college decision making process. We are a smaller school located in the suburbs of St. Louis, Webster Groves, Missouri. Uh, over 30, about 3,100 students total enrollments. So smaller class sizes, our classes, most of our classes are capped at 25. One thing that we really stress no matter what is that regardless of your major, you are gonna get into your major right away. That's really important to us. And then we have some pretty amazing study abroad programs as well, which I'll talk about. So this is where Webster's University is located. If anybody's familiar with the St. Louis area, this is downtown where the arch is right here. This is the Mississippi River and then we are located in Webster Groves, Missouri, which is a residential suburb of St. Louis. In fact, we're surrounded by trees and houses, kind of a kind of a quaint, uh, uh, nicer suburb there uh, in the St. Louis area. So um, 
So we're really proud of and happy with our location there. So we're on a rolling admissions policy, which just simply means we process the applications as they come in. So there's no deadline, although we do recommend January 1st, but we'll process the applications as they come in, but the sooner the better with this. Uh, we are test optional. Our typical minimum GPA is about a 2.75. We really don't like to go any lower than that. Those who do submit test scores, you can kind of see what the middle 50% uh, range is uh, for those uh, SAT and ACT scores. And if you're applying to anything in our College of Fine Arts, Art, Dance, Music, or Theater, there is a secondary process for a portfolio review or an audition. We are a liberal arts school, so we have a kind of little bit of everything that you would expect a college to offer. So this is the College of Arts and Sciences. Some might refer to it as the humanities. This is where all the science classes uh, live. This is the English department. Our language majors are here. A number of international um, related majors are here as well. All the pre-professionals, so your pre-med, your pre-dentistry, pre-engineering, these are all kind of in the College of Arts and Sciences uh, as well too. We do have our College of Fine and Performing Arts at Webster, which is really, really uh, comprehensive. All of these are majors for us, either a BA or a BFA program. So these are all extremely comprehensive. Like for instance, in art, we don't just have a general art major. You can get specific degrees in each of these areas if you like. Same thing with dance, same thing with music, same thing with theater. In fact, theater, especially on the technical theater side is really quite comprehensive as you can see from all the offerings there. Over in the School of Communications, another department that really has quite a number of offerings everything from animation and game design to photography and script writing, sound recording and engineering, all of those are offered. These are very well-established programs. In fact, we've had our film and TV program since the 1980s. We've had our animation program since the mid nineties. Game design we've had for about six or seven years now. So all of these programs are well-established, which means we have an alumni base established in Hollywood and other places as, as well too. So, and as I mentioned, the best thing about these majors is you do get them in, into them right away. You don't just have to sit and take general classes for two years. So we really like that aspect of it. This is our School of Business and Technology where all the business classes are, entrepreneurship, math and computer science, a really neat major in sports and entertainment management. That's in our Walker School of Business and Technology. And then last but not least is our School of Education for those students who are considering um, going into teacher education. I did mention study abroad and how comprehensive that is for us. We have a number of our own campuses overseas. We also have a number of partner locations. Um, if you go to one of our campuses, you're still at Webster. You're just at a different location. So you do not have to worry about, say, taking a, you know, an Austrian grading scale and converting it to U.S. and hope you don't lose credit along the way. You're still at Webster. You're just in a different location. You pay in dollars. You um, keep your scholarships in financial aid. And we're so interested and so um, eager to have students study abroad that we have a free airfare. We pay for your plane ticket to go overseas. So that's important for us as well, too. This is campus housing. This really is what our fresh one of our freshman dorm looks like. That's not a stock photo. That's really what it looks like. Um, they are all semi-private bathroom situations, so all suite style. We do not have the group bathroom at the end of the hall for any housing anywhere on campus. This is exactly what the setup is going to be. If you're 35 miles or farther, you do have to live on campus for the first two years, and we do offer free laundry as, as well, too. Here's some information on financial aid and scholarships. There is no in-state, out-of-state tuition, um, so you're looking at about $40,000 for those uh, non-theater majors. If you're in theater, it's, it's a little bit more there. But we do have academic scholarships up to $19,000. We also do have a full tuition scholarship uh, available. Minimum requirement for a scholarship is right around a 3.0. That's kind of like what, we, what, what we'd like to see there in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, uh, getting a scholarship. Some examples of what our graduates are doing after graduation. We have actually several graduates at, at Disney, uh, not just Leah there. We have uh, Tony award-winning actors on Broadway. We have people working in New York and, and, and Los Angeles in the film, uh, film and television industry. Um, and then we have people uh, working in the recording industry. This is uh, Garth Brooks, uh, his primary recording engineer is a, is a Webster graduate. We have professional musicians. And then we have people, like I said, working in film and television as well too. So this is probably my favorite slide. Um, and it's the one I sort of like to end on because um, you know, this is, you know, we will all tell you that fit is probably the most important factor when it comes to choosing a college. 
this is the kinds of students that do really well at Webster. So I like to put that slide up because that'll give you a really good idea if this is the kind of school that you're looking for. And yes, oh, by the way, that's really our dorms. Again, not a fake picture. That's really what they look like. They're very nice. So this is my information here. We are open for in-person visits. Please be in touch with any uh, questions that you have. That's why we're here. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Webster University. Next, we're gonna have Hastings College. Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Amy Landgren. I am from Hastings College in Hastings, Nebraska. Hastings College is a four-year private liberal arts college. We have a historical affiliation with the Presbyterian Church, but of course, we admit students of all religions. Uh, right now, our student-faculty ratio is 15 to 1, and accessibility to professors is at the heart of everything we do. And those professors are phenomenal, so phenomenal that US News and World Report ranked Hastings College number three amongst all Midwest regional colleges for best undergraduate teaching. Um, Hastings, Nebraska is a community of 25,000 located in the south central portion of the state, about 90 miles west of Lincoln, four hours from Wichita, and four and a half hours from Kansas City, six hours from Denver. USA Today did a ranking of the 25 best small college towns in the nation and Hastings College came in at number 20. Our enrollment is approximately 1000 students on campus, all undergrad except for a Masters of Arts in the teaching program. US News also ranked Hastings College number three as the most innovative school amongst all Midwest regional colleges. That innovation means we have several features that are unique to Hastings. One being the block schedule. This is our block schedule. Um, our, although our block is generally different from any high school block format, in ours, a student gets five classes in the fall and five classes in the spring, just like a traditional schedule, schedule but we chop those up into blocks. At Hastings, a student takes one class for two weeks, two classes for seven weeks, and another two classes for seven weeks. That means students are focusing on one or two classes um, only at one time. And we've also seen an increase in academic success, success for our students because of this. The schedule allows great flexibility for internships, job shadowing, travel. Plus it means even more professor access since our fac faculty have fewer students in each block than they would in a traditional schedule. Um, an additional benefit of Hastings College is the international study abroad travel experience for our junior students. Um, they will take an international experience during one of those two week blocks. Cost is covered by tuition. Yep, you heard that. The travel experience is provided to our students at no additional cost. Previous trips have included destinations like Paris, Peru, Ireland, and Spain. We are making plans for domestic travel this uh, also this fall, and trips also include Tokyo, Peru, and Paris next spring. Additionally, all students receive an iPad and an Apple Pencil to use, along with unlimited cloud storage. Also, no more lugging around heavy book bags at Hastings College, because included with the tuition are required textbooks. We cover digital downloads. Um, of all books required for classes. And if there's not an addition, a digital option, we provide the printed copy. Um, of course, we're active in all areas of campus and give you lots of opportunities to be involved. We have over 75 different student run organizations. In addition to art, music, theater, speech, and media opportunities that all have scholarships with them. Of course, our Bronco Athletics with 23 different competitive teams to be a part of. As you can imagine, the typical Hastings College student is not just going to class, doing homework, watching Netflix. We have an active community of students. Um, a lot of fun will that, that will happen in, is in our cap campus housing. Our freshmen and sophomore students live in traditional residence halls. Then we offer apartment style housing for our juniors and seniors. Um, we offer great scholarships at Hastings College. Every student accepted into Hastings will receive at, less, at least $12,000. Most will get much more than that. 
we start with academic scholarships. Hastings College is test blind for acceptance in most scholarships. So ACT or SAT is not required, just transcripts. As athletes may need test scores for NAIA eligibility and some of our funded scholarships may also require a test score. These amounts are per year and all of these scholarships renew for all four years. Uh, then we'll add talent scholarships on top of that. You can see the list here. We provide scholarships for art, athletics, bowling, cheer, dance, theater, media, esports, music, speech, shooting sports as well. Our full list of academic scholarships can be found at our hastings.edu email or excuse me website. And we're open for on-campus and individual visits as we provide virtual opportunities to visit as well. Um, lots of great group virtual events are also, are also available this fall. You can sign up for those at hastings.edu backslash visit. Um, applications are open now. Just make, you, make sure you mark fall 22 for your entry date. Our application is free and can be found at hastings.edu backslash, uh, backslash uh, apply. And again, you can find all that information and much more at hastings.edu. Come visit us on campus or an individualized virtual visit can be put together as well. We would love for you to become a Hastings College Bronco. Thank you so much, Hastings College. Next, we're gonna have Benedictine College. Hi, everyone. My name is Claire Hollis. I'm representing Benedictine College. Let me get my slides for you and we can get started. Benton College is located in Atchison, Kansas, which is about an hour north of Sandy City, about 45 minutes north of the airport. It is an international airport, so you can uh, have lots of access to both um, and getting in and out. We have um, a very broad base of college. Then it was named one of the top colleges in the U.S. Navy course, and we are also very proud of, proud of the New and Dive School. So if you're looking at uh, coming to a Catholic institution, we are one of 14 colleges named by the New England guys. So very proud of that. Of course, we're accepting of all states, um, but we are a religious institution. Um, on top of that, we have one of the top five campus ministry programs in the country. Um, we have over 50 students that are on field at time to put on different events on campus just for the ministry program alone. Um, on top of that, we have some business students that are we are, one of the, we are the largest private college in the state of Kansas. Um, we're reaching about 2,000 students right now. Our largest class um, just entered this fall at over 600 in As I said, we have 87 students. We have 47 states represented, 20 different countries. Um, and we're very proud of all of, the, all of our diversity on campus. Like I said, we are a uh, Catholic college. We uh, pride ourselves on our mission as a Catholic and as a liberal as a living in the college. It's a community that we very much continue to support. So we are a Catholic, we, um, so we, we uphold the pillars of the Catholic faith. We have been listening to you really strive um, to work on our hospitality. Um, here on campus, we're welcome to anyone to campus. We are liberal arts, we will be taking classes outside your major for a full person. And lastly, we are a residential college. That means that 85% of our students must have on campus. So all freshmen and sophomores are required to have on campus. Seniors and seniors have to have permission to move off of campus, meaning that most students stay on campus all four years. I don't know why I've been making that all four years. I'm not just doing it. Like I mentioned at the beginning, the Ashton is about 45 campus of North Kansas City, um, about an hour from Central Kansas City. And here are two of the
you can go to the next look at some of our different majors as well as minors. Um, it's very easy to have double major in the listing, especially with our liberal arts degree. Um, you'll be completing many of your um, classes from the get-go. Um, you'll be able to do it all of them that you want to be a major as well as in college. At the next one, we have a robustly broad program. You can study anywhere in the world. Um, so we partner with a lot of different schools, but if you want to stay at a, at a medicine, you can visit our Florence campus. Um, we come 50 students every semester, um, and we live in the high school of rural Florence Monastery. We take Italian uh, year from history class and spend um, the time that we can travel. And included in our Florence trip is um, a 10 day trip to Rome, a weekend trip to Sicily, and a weekend trip to Siena. Other than that, all the travel is up to you and where you want to go and what you want to do and what you want your city bar experience to look like. Uh, our tuition is at about $33,000 a year, but 100% of our students receive some sort of financial aid. You automatically will receive $11,000 um, going towards tuition, but we range anywhere from $11,000 to $19,000. We also offer 10 full tuition scholarships, five free quarter scholarships, as well as honor 10 and first come first year placement. These scholarships are um, these are able to complete course in February, um, late January, early February. We are um, very proud of our alumni here at Benedictin. 65% of our uh, ratings have some sort of internship experience as compared to the 55% of other institutions. Um, we also have nine and nine in 10 graduates in the we also are the only Catholic college to be both in the Baptist College Laureate, and she is the only college in the college program. So um, we are very, have one of the best um, ranked uh, science buildings for small schools. This is just a quick overview of the admission process. We are rolling admission. We accept a 2.0 GPA in GCC or an equivalent SAT. We also accept the CLT, that's an online testing option. Um, however, we are test optional just for the GPA. We require 2.75 for automatic acceptance without a test score. Um, if you do, or if you have lower than that, those are a good option. Like I said, we're rolling admission, um, and we look forward to having a chance to read your application. Um, I have covered students from Kansas City, Colorado, so if you have any questions, here is our director of admission contact information, and you can get to find the correct admission counselor. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, Benedictine College. That was some great information that we learned. Um, we'll have next University of North Texas. Hi, everyone. I'm about to share my so you can see my presentation. Perfect. My name is Lauren Harp. I'm an admissions counselor at University of North Texas. Okay. We are located in Denton. We also have a campus in Frisco. It's close by to Denton as well. So Denton, we're voted the best small town in America. Um, from Business Insider, as well as the best college town in America. Frisco, our other location, it's one of our newer locations. It has less programs, but it just started a couple of years ago. So they're picking up and it's a lot of times um, chosen for internships, as well as um, just post-grad opportunities and specific programs that they offer. They're also ranked number two among best cities for jobs after graduation. So because we're located in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, there's a lot of opportunities for internships and partnerships with local um, organizations and businesses. Because of that, Dallas alone has 24 Fortune 500 companies and three of those are in the top 10. We are named a Best in the West College by Princeton Review and we have been for 10 consecutive years, as well as we have 20 programs ranked in the top 100 in the nation. We are listed as a member in, of the Transfer Excellence and Community College Honor Roll by Phi Theta Kappa. So we also, we pride ourselves as above the rest. We are a tier one research university. This means that 
our professors receive some of the highest competitive grants to do research in their field. So we're going to have some of the top professors um, in their field, and they are nationally ranked as well as ranked worldwide. Um, there are only 131 of these tier one research universities in the nation, and we're proud to be one of these, as well as we have 89 programs in the nation's top 100. Because of this emphasis in research, a lot of our professors really push for research in um, their courses. A lot of our projects are going to be hands on and really get deeper into that. Our graphic design program is ranked second in the Southwest and fourth in the nation. So if you're interested in our College of Visual Arts and Design, we're known as a visual arts and design college, as well as a music institution. Our jazz band has actually won seven Grammys. So we also hold a lot of pride in that and producing a lot of students that are interested in our College of Music. We have a College of Music Performance program and then also music theory. So if you're interested in any hands-on practicing of these musical instruments or just general theory of that and pursuing maybe education towards that or teaching students about this, you can pursue that as well. We also have a merchandising program that's ranked first in Texas. So we are at UNT, we have over 40,000 students. Um, about 10,000 of them are commuter students. So a lot of times students will commute from their houses um, in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. We are one university, we have 12 colleges, and we have the Denton location, Frisco location, and an online program as well. We have 109 bachelor's degrees, and we actually added eight of those, so technically just two days ago. So technically we have about 117 bachelors as of a couple of days ago. Um, 89 of our academic programs are ranked among the nation's top 100 as well. And we have quite a bit of community um, campus engagement as we have over 400 student organizations. And if there is a student organization that you see on our website that you want to create, all you need is seven friends. So you can easily create a student organization and pursue something that you're interested in too. We offer over 14 residence halls and five dining halls. So we have a lot of different options. We have a big eight allergen dining hall. So basically if you fall under any of the big eight allergens um, and you are allergic to anything under the big eight, basically we avoid that in our dining hall. And we also have a mean green vegan hall as well. So if you um, really are interested in pursuing a vegan diet or you need to for any restrictions, you can definitely go to that dining hall. So our mean green sports, um, we're in Conference USC, USA and we're an NCAA D1 um, athletic team. So these are our different athletic teams that UNT offers. Um, and due to NCAA, rules I am restricted in what I'm able to in regarding to recruiting. So feel free to follow the link at the bottom of the page, Main Green Sports, and you can reach out to our coaches there. So some of our admissions requirements. So this is generally geared towards freshmen um, students in high school currently. So if you're interested in being in freshman requirements, um, these are going to be your requirements. So you're going to be guaranteed admissions to UNT if you rank in the top 10%, the next 15%, rank in the second or third quarter, or have a cumulative unweighted GPA of 3.0. So if you meet any of these requirements, you'll meet automatic exceptions. And we follow three steps. So you'll do the application. Um, you can do it on goapplytexas.org if you're a Texas resident, or you can do it on the commonapp.org if you are residing outside of Texas. The second step is to submit your official high school transcript and you have adult credit classes, you'll submit your college transcript as well. And then about two weeks later, after you submit your high school or college transcript, we'll give you an admissions decision. So we work on rolling admissions. We have soft deadlines here at UNT. So we'll give you a quick admissions decision after that high school transcript turned in. So you're gonna to wanna to monitor your decision in your My UNT student portal that you're set up after you do your application process. If you have any questions about University of North Texas or any of our programs, the admissions requirements, feel free to reach out to me. I have my email and my phone number to the right. And we also have a QR code too. So if you are interested in receiving any mailing or additional information, feel free to scan that QR code and you can reach out to me as well. All right, thank you, University of North Texas. Can I have all the reps come back on the screen? So to finish up our session today, we want to make sure that we leave you all with some words of wisdom to kind of help you along the way in your college process and your college journey. And so if we could answer the question in order of how we presented today, what kind of advice would you give someone going through the college search process? 
We'll start off with um, Oklahoma City University. Thank you. My advice to students going through the college admissions process is to be very open minded. Um, check out a lot of different schools. You truly don't know what a school can offer you until you find out if you want a small school, a large school. And if you visit that campus, that's truly the best way to get a feel for that college's campus. Yeah, so I always say um, when it comes to, to looking at colleges, especially for um, you know students who are you know, just about to graduate high school or even parents who are helping students, um, there's really three factors that you need to take into consideration. You need to take into consideration academic fit. Um, you know, am I going to meet the admissions requirement? Am I going to be admissible? Do they have the academic programs that I want? Do they have the majors that I want? Are they successful at them? Um, social fit. Um, do you see yourself being a student at that campus? Um, do you see yourself enjoying it? Is it a climate that you like? Is it an area that you like? Um, maybe somewhere you want to end up after graduation. Um, and then the last tier was really um, financial fit. Um, is it affordable? Um, is there a financial way that can help cover those costs for me? Um, am I going to be straddled with like a ton of debt after college? Um, look, kind of taking into consideration all three of those things I think are really helpful as you get into your college search process. My advice would be to kind of pick up on that a little bit um, in terms of financial aid. And what I would say is never rule out a school because you think you can't afford it, right? Go through the process, apply, see how much scholarships you're getting, fill out the FAFSA and make an informed decision. There's a lot of students who say, well, I, I can't afford that. And we'll have to say, well, how do you know? You haven't applied yet. You don't know if you're getting a scholarship. You haven't filled out a FAFSA. So my best advice would be never rule out a college because you think you can't afford it. Go through the process find out for sure. And I would just reiterate what everyone else said. You all stole my answers, but definitely keep an open mind. It's such an exciting time for you as a student and lots of places to visit. And um, when you do get to campus, like, like others have already said, does it feel comfortable? Do you see yourself here? Do you see yourself here in the next couple of years? Um, do you feel like if you need to get home, is it an appropriate amount to drive? Does that matter to you? And then again, obviously affordability as well. Yeah, that'd be good advice. Um, while everyone has said some really great things, I think I also want to throw in to enjoy the college admission process because it's a very exciting time for the next chapter of your life. So don't let the essays or the test scores or the time um, well, those are all important and to pay attention to those, um, to also just enjoy the fact that you are taking a big step in your life just to take a moment and enjoy what you're doing. I would say two things, to tailor it to yourself, um, what programs that you're interested in, and there are so many different colleges and universities, so um, whatever you're interested in, pursue that. I would also say the second part would be um, being prepared, um, doing things as early as you can. Um, there are different financial aid and scholarship deadlines, as well as housing and other components part of each university. So um, the sooner you can and that you are making those decisions, the better in a sense of you feeling prepared. Um, especially if you're doing it your senior year of high school, it can just be a lot of different things kind of pulling your attention. So I always recommend doing it the sooner the better. All right, thank you so much, counselors. That was great information that you shared with us. I really do appreciate that. And so as we finish up our time today, want to make sure that you all know that there'll be other sessions that we'll have going on. Make sure you sign up for those. And also make sure that if you want this video, please go to strivescan.com slash GPACAC as well. So thank you all so much for coming today. Reps, thank you all for coming and spending time with us as well. Everyone have a wonderful day. Have a good one. Thank you all for everything.